Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so, so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have a great box that is quarterly and combines two of those categories that I always list at the beginning of my videos. It is beauty and a book box, which obviously combines a great read as well as some beauty items. And I love that it's quarterly, so you sometimes might feel like you can't necessarily do a monthly book subscription or a monthly beauty box, but this is a great way of getting a little of both. And it's also really nice because they have options for adults, teens, and tweens. So those who are between nine and 12, often you get to choose your novel sometimes some quarters it's a surprise me option only but I do think they do a great job of selecting books for us as well as the beauty products that are inside this box is $37.99 per quarter plus I think nine dollars in shipping but if you use the code BAAB B10, you can save 10%. As always, I'll leave all of that information for you in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is the fall box, and we'll find out a little bit more about it. As it says there, it is the perfect balance. So here is our little card. It just says your autumn box is here. And there, they do have a Facebook group. They also have some retreats that they do as well, which I always kind of have my eye on. It says for this particular quarter, we donated to Mrs. J. Jacobs class in the Bronx, New York. We love the STEAM projects for students with special needs. Each quarter we will highlight a different classroom. So I love that because this books, this box is put together by educators and cosmetologists. So, and they also give back, which of course we all appreciate. So then on the back, it does tell us all of the products that are included. I do think you got to choose your book for this particular quarter. It does say that the December boxes or the winter boxes will only have the surprise me option, but rest assured you will get a great book. There is a message from the founder, Nisha. It says, thank you all for supporting our brand. Our community of beautiful book lovers are phenomenal. You all make it possible for us to donate to classrooms and literacy and self-care causes. Being an educator for over a decade has allowed me to see firsthand what is needed for students and fellow educators. Also, don't forget to use your loyalty points or save them for a bigger discount. So it is kind of nice that they do have a loyalty program. Now on here, because by popular demand from subscribers, they do not include the retail values, but since I work with them as an affiliate, I usually get them to tell me the retail values because you guys know that I really appreciate seeing those and feeling like I'm getting a nice deal in my subscription boxes. So I do have that in an email from them and I will share those prices with you as we go through. So let's take a look. There was just some tissue paper on the top and then you can kind of see, usually the book of course is on the bottom because it makes a nice foundation for all of the awesome other products. So it looks like, ooh, we've got some uh, wax melts, which is very, very exciting. I believe they actually have a contest going on where you can earn a wax warmer or win a wax warmer. I think there's three different ones to possibly win. So definitely check out their Instagram. I'll try to link it for you on my own Instagram um, posts for this box and see if you can get in on that. So this is by Book Sense. Every candle has a story and the scent is autumn on the ridge, the crisp scent of autumn leaves. So I kind of love this. This is more like a lifestyle item than necessarily a beauty item, but I love that balance. Look at that like gorgeous caramel color. It almost looks like something that I want to eat. Um, so let me go ahead and see if I can pop this open because I would love to smell what the crisp scent of autumn leaves smells like. So it does, it smells very like earthy and, um, almost like a tiny bit like floral, almost like fresh cut grass. So uh, not not like, you know, autumn leaves that have just been out drying for too long, but it smells like a nice outdoorsy walk. So it's very, very light. So I think it would be a great scent to have burning or warming in whatever kind of wax melter you have for like a long amount of time. So and I do think that's really cool that there's like a bookish wax melt company out there. So let me see what it says about that in terms of the price. Those have a value of $10 and those are like pretty hefty um, squares that you can see. So let me get to the next one. 
So here is a little bit more of a beauty item, but it's kind of more of a, a tool or a gadget. It's a rechargeable mirror. So it came in this nice box. Cool. So it does say that there's a there's a battery, but then it, you of course can recharge it. It says meeting a more beautiful self. So it's in this nice hard box. Ooh, it's in pearlized pink, which you guys know me. I'm not like a pink girl, but hey. Um, and then you can kind of see there's a, like a little USB port and then another charging space. So it's just like a giant compact but it opens up. I'm not going to show you a reflection of yourself. I'm trying to see if one side is, um, yeah, so one side looks to be um, larger, so magnified. I was trying to think of the word. Man, that was tough. So I guess then there's like a ring light around this base one so that you can actually see. So it's interesting because the lid part, this is the more magnified side as far as I can tell, and then this side is like kind of heftier, but this is the side I would have normally have up so that the ring light effect was on my face. So I'm not sure how that works. Or maybe the um, ring light from the base actually shines up on the top one enough that you can see that way, but it might actually stand up on its own like this as well. So let's see what it says about that. It feels like really good quality. It's got some weight to it. It's just, I would probably have thought of having the ring light on the, the upright mirror, like the regular mirror. So it says it's a rechargeable LED compact mirror and has a value of $24. So I don't actually have like a very big bathroom. So I don't have like one of those nice like ring lights in my bathroom at all times. So this might be a nice option for me because then I can put it on my dresser in my bedroom or here at my desk, for example. So kind of nice though. I think it's a good, good quality, kind of hefty. Not sure that I would travel with it. I, and then if I did, I'd probably put it in a nice pouch so it didn't get messed up because I don't know that I would travel with it in this little box, but that's kind of a cool item that you don't get in a lot of subscription boxes. All right, what else have we got? Looks like we got a little palette. And we're definitely feeling some winter vibes here. So this is the Ruby May Peppermint Mocha Palette. I'm not sure if it's eyeshadow or what. So it's a nine color palette. Let me go ahead and slide it out of the little sleeve and we will see what we got. It says for fall and winter looks. So from Peppermint Mocha, that's what I was guessing, but I'm wondering what kinds of shades it'll be. Ooh, this is really pretty. It says you're beautiful and then there is a mirror, which I'm going to hide, but this is like definitely more color than I was expecting for fall and winter, but I love those metallics, that gold, and silver and then quite a few of them have some shimmer to them but I think that cranberry and then this like sparkly forest green that's they're calling peppermint I think those are really pretty so I love when it's a smaller palette like this that you can definitely travel with but this gives you a ton of options because you could definitely do a warmer look or a cooler look and they're all represented and of course you can always go for me it's always I would go with that chai spice and gingerbread because I'm like those are like my safety colors those like warm browns and pinks and stuff so that's actually a really lovely palette. So let's see what the pricing on that was. You guys, we've already gotten the value of the entire box before we even get to our nice book. So the, uh, let's see, where is it? The Ruby May palette is $25. So pretty good, you guys. It looks like this whole box has a value of just a little over $100, which I think is pretty good. Um, and, and you're supporting a good cause too at the same time. What is they've got something here. It looks like a very simple notebook. So let me see if I can get into this. I always have a hard time figuring out where these kind of packages start. And that will be no different today. I have no idea where to start opening this up, but I might just use my use my handy dandy scissors here in a second. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just use my scissors to get into this so that I can show you. This is a handcrafted reading journal and it has a value of $9. So let me just slice that open. You'd think that would be a little bit easier than, than finding the opening. I think I just actually sliced open the, the flap that I should have been lifting with my finger, but I got into it. I appreciate that it was so nicely wrapped because it is such a crisp and simple white. So this is what that looks like. So it is handmade. So I love that it's just white. So you could decorate the front yourself. Oh, it is a reading journal. So on the inside, I love that you could kind of like do your own collage or your own drawing or like just doodles or whatever. Inside it says book love. 
and then you can see that it's like hand stitched down the middle and then each one has a page it says book title book author there's the rating you can do like little stars along here and color those in it says uh where is my book you can say if it's in your library your nook your kindle if you own it if you borrowed it uh series genre date started date finished a little summary for a little very short summary right here and then there's a big square for doodles and any other sort of notes that you want to include so i need to actually start doing that because i have been reading more than i have in a long time because of all the book subscription boxes that i'm lucky enough to review here but i'm kind of like proud of how many books i've actually read it's still not enough like i definitely need to up my reading but it's definitely more than i've read in the past few years so it would be nice to kind of have a journal of that so i'm actually going to hold on to this i think and maybe slowly but surely decorate it and maybe use some of you know the little scraps or bookmarks that i wind up using in different ones so i kind of have a nice um record of it so i think that's nice valued at nine dollars i think that's fair um and i do kind of like that it's open for some like creativity there on the cover I think we have one more beauty item before we get to our book and that is by uh, Douce or Deuce and it is the ultra precision eyeliner so an actual like beauty product well I guess our palette was also a beauty product and this has a value of $22 so yeah all of our our beauty items our eyeliner our compact mirror and our palette were all over $20 a piece so I've actually used this eyeliner before I do like to use eyeliner on the bottom lids sometimes for a little definition I don't usually do it on the top and if I do the top I usually use liquid but it is a really nice eyeliner I feel like it goes on very well I like that it's um, self sharpening and you don't have to have a pencil but you can kind of like create a little bit more of a point if you want to so it's a great product and it's a good one to receive in this particular box and I like that it is you know your basic black eyeliner so it's something that almost everyone can use and then finally we have our book so this is, yes, I believe I did choose this one. Um, I think it would be kind of nice to be, not have to do all of the research and have them surprise me for the winter box. This is Margaret Atwood's alias grace so it is a paper book and a paperback and the uh prices on the book that was included in the box could vary anywhere between like 17 dollars and 25 dollars it really just depends on when they purchased it so there is some variance there um this has a listed price of 17 dollars, so uh, that's what i would go with so not like the highest priced hardcover um i will say i'm a little bit disappointed because my cover is a little bit torn but that's you know to be expected with a paperback it doesn't it's got like a little crease in it so it almost feels it doesn't have like a remainder mark on it but it doesn't necessarily feel like fresh and new the way that some books do but let's go ahead and read what it is all about and what intrigued me so much about it to choose this as my selection it says it's 1843 and grace marks has been convicted for her involvement in the vicious murders of her employer thomas kinnear and nancy montgomery his housekeeper and mistress some believe grace is innocent others think her evil or insane now serving a life sentence she claims to have no memory of the murders an up-and-coming expert in the burgeoning field of mental illness is engaged by a group of reformers and spiritualists who seek a pardon for her he listens to her story while bringing her closer and closer to the day she cannot remember what will he find in attempting to unlock her me memories is grace a bloodthirsty criminal or a victim of circumstance based on an actual case alias grace is a captivating disturbing and unforgettable novel that showcases margaret atwood at the peak of her powers so i kind of loved that it was like based on on a true story and that there's this like true crime element to it because you guys know I love thrillers I love true crime podcasts especially so I felt like this was a cool blending and like retelling of a story from a different perspective so I'm interested to read it let me know I, I've read some of the reviews of the book without ha having too many spoilers but if you've had an opportunity to read this or if you're a big fan of Margaret Atwood let me know what you thought again without too many spoilers but I am excited to uh to give it a read just because of the topic it sounds very intriguing especially that whole like era of spiritualists and and people finally starting to recognize mental illness so this is the book that we got let me just make sure that i did cover all of the items that were in there so we got our novel we got our artisan stitched book tracker notebook which i do really like in a very simple white it could have been fun to have like a colorful one but like i said i think i might do like a fun collage on the front we got our autumn on the ridge book sense wax melts which I'm very excited about great fragrance we got our Ruby May palette which is actually very pretty I don't hold on to all the palettes that I get in different boxes but that one might be a keeper 
We got our Deuce Ultra Precision Eyeliner, which is always useful, our lovely LED Compact Mirror, and then just a reminder again for the winter boxes, there's only the Surprise Me option, so if you sign up, you're just gonna get a magical box full of a book and some great beauty items, and you don't have to worry about selecting your book ahead of time. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Definitely check out the subscription if you are looking for a touch of reading and a touch of beauty, and maybe uh, something that you want to share with the teen or tween in your life as well because again they have boxes for those age groups and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.